Hey guys, welcome to another edition of uh, Awesome Board Games in My Collection. Uh, this game is one of my earlier games I got as a gift. Uh, I was gaming uh, a lot when I was younger, and then I got older, and you know, only games I really knew about were like Monopoly and the ones you've seen at the stores. I didn't realize that there was a bigger place and until um, about my college year I started going to board games. We got into a couple board games like uh, uh, what was it? Legend of the Five Rings I guess you can call it a card game and stuff like that and then um, another one I played was Confrontation. I um, was interested in the Blood Bowl at the time but I never it was uh, at the time I didn't have the money but anyways um, so later on um, I said it wasn't really into getting into the board gaming community because there really knows one people that really do played board games and I found a hobby shop that was playing at the times it was a writers uh, and they actually had a thing and we um, started like a board game club there and uh, one of the guys that was our friend got uh, gave me some games and uh, this isn't the edition that I got from him but we upgraded it I gave him, and uh, got the newer edition but uh, it is Run For Your Life Candyman um, and it is basically candy, uh, candy man, like, yeah, candy land. Not candy. And but instead you have these little uh, character sheets that you take damage from. So when you are in the same space as somebody and you pass through them or land on their space, you can physically attack them by you know physical damage. But there's also weapons you can pick up uh, by special treats. So if you draw a card that has the special treat so uh, they'll have like there might be one that will be a chocolate so it'll be a treat and then you'll get two special treat cards and uh, special treat cards come in a whole bunch of different types they come in defense cards uh, weapon cards um, just to give you some example uh, we have life life savers this one it says maybe played in reaction to any attack by a player. Cancel the attack. Um, let me see. Womper, you add two blocks of attack to a normal attack. And this is a jawbreaker. So doing um, three normal attack, you give them three blocks of damage to the head. This one's really nasty, the Red Hot's foot. And it's a set of normal attacks. Assign this card to another player's leg. At the beginning of each of their turns, they take one block of damage until that leg. Repeat each turn until the leg is destroyed. So they'll be hoppling around and getting on fire. So I will now show you the board. So and they have other cards too that make the game really interesting, like uh, cage matches where you, you can't leave until someone draws a special card. Um, We have little voodoo type guys that we had, we got for the game too as well. Um, but yeah, these are the little character stands. They got stinky. They all got like really weird, taunty, butch, bitey, and lefty. So yeah, all these different characters. into the actual board itself. So and it's the board. It it's Candyland board pretty much. But there's special spots on here that um uh that do a lot of damage um to your characters and stuff. Um like when you get to the end here you have to land on these spots and every time you land on these spots the twins do damage to you and you could lose the game just before you get to the end here uh, so it's not just left there's no left last person saying you actually have to make it to the finish line but the game's really fun i mean it's it's just a very um take that kind of game with just pure luck you know you could 
um, just move around the board and get nowhere. Keeps, you can, but the fun part of the game is actually to take it, you know, just dest destroy your other opponents and stuff and have fun with it. We usually play this around my birthday, actually, usually. Or holidays. It's a very simplistic game, but uh, one that's very enjoyable for us. But, um, there's another one called Shoot and Ladders, which I'll eventually show that one. That one's more like. Um, I'm trying to think how to explain it. If you guys played Steve Jackson's Frag, that's pretty much what that's closest to. The board resembles the Shoot and Ladder board. Yeah, there you have it. This is uh, Run For Your Life came in. That's the front. That's the back. And they definitely um, got a second edition. This was the second one. What's the age group on here? I don't really... 14 up. You could play younger. The only reason it's 14 and up is because of the confrontation with the the weapons and stuff like that. But it's there's really no... Um, really anything bad. My niece and nephew played when they were like 11 and 12. <laughs> so it's like a step up from regular candy man. It was just a lot of humor. Um, tongue in cheek with the weapons. They're all like references to like different kinds of candies and stuff like that. Um, it's a pure luck game. You, you know, you could play really strategically and still lose. You could, you know, get the best weapons and still lose. It's it's Candyland with with a, a nice little twist and uh, we do definitely enjoy it. It's a game that you just don't really have to think too much. Just have a lot of fun with the right group. It's great. Uh, people that just can't like don't want to accept the fact that it's something simple and just tongue in cheek type game, then they're not gonna like it. But everyone we play this game with enjoys it. Um, but like I said, you gotta have the right group. And you can even um, get like gingerbread cookies or make cookies in the shape of gingerbread and use them to assign the damage with, uh, to the pieces too as well. And eat, eat, you know, eat the pieces that you claim victory. <clears throat> but I um, uh, definitely enjoy this one and uh, it's staying in my collection and it's not going anywhere. And I was glad that when to hear about the second edition because we found out there's new weapons. They changed a few things and it was definitely worth picking up again. So. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.